So I have created a big point against the data flow task. This this will help us in checking the values which are assigned to the Excel uh, file name variable uh, during I each iteration of uh, for each loop container. So I'll go ahead and execute the file. But before that, you need to uh, set the delay validation property of the package to true. If you don't set this, uh, it will usually try to validate each and every connection managers and each and every objects inside the package, and this would result in an error, especially uh, because the Excel connection manager now points to a blank string. But for I'll show you this. Uh, if I click F5, it will try to uh, debug the package and it will throw this error, which is caused by validation. So I'll set the delay validation property of the package to true. Now I'll go and start debugging. So you can see that it has come across first iteration and I, ha I have added a watch, win watch window with uh, the Excel file name as my variable and this is the value that it shows it's currently pointed to book1.xlsx. If I continue debugging, now it's pointing to book2, book3, book 4 and that's it. So it has iterated across all the four uh, Excel files and it has populated the data into a database 100 records per file. So we'll now check the database uh, contents. So I have opened the management studio Microsoft SQL Server management studio and this is a table which we created initially and I have written a query and you can see that we have values from each of these files populated into uh, the database table. You can see we had book 1 had 100 records till 101, book 2 had another 100 records and book 3 as well as book 4. So, so this is a way to uh, create a package with uh, for each loop container and uh, make the connections uh, dynamic. You can similarly make uh, these connections dynamic as well. In future videos, I'll show you uh, much more uh, features across uh, much more properties, how to set the properties across different connection managers as well as properties for different tasks and transformations. And I'll take you across various loop containers and the transformations and tasks available in uh, SSIS. So keep watching our videos. I hope uh, this video was really helpful to you. Uh, we'll uh, surely and uh, keep watching uh, geekepisodes.com as well as do visit our blog sql.geekepisodes.com thank you for watching